I now pronounce you husband and wife. Good morning. It's my wedding day. Bride PJ's on, getting packed. I accidentally woke up 45 minutes late, but it's okay. Things are going good. I went and looked at the flowers and started tearing up because the roses like fully bloomed oh. out and they look so pretty. <laughs> A small pumpkin blondie, sugar free. So we're 20 minutes late to our hair appointment, but we called and said we'd be 20 minutes late, so we're on time. Girl math. Girl math. Girl math. Getting ready time! Got my snacks, all the good stuff, mimosa, coffee, water, Red Bull, yep. every drink I could possibly need. I'm getting married today. <laughs> I'm testing out the mic. Hopefully it works.
Everyone just went down. My mom's about to go down and me and my dad will walk. Yay! Love you. Love you. Yay. You look beautiful. Thank you. Here we go. Don't forget to look at the crowd. Okay. <laughs> gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. Abram, you may go take your bride. <laughs> so Family and friends, you may be seated. Well, Sydney and Abram, your big day is here. The moment that you have been planning, waiting for, dreaming of and praying about is finally here. God is so good. And you guys, Abram and Sydney, have kept Jesus at the center of your relationship, which is why we are all here today, to honor him through the covenant of marriage. Family and friends, would you stand back to your feet and join us for a song of worship. Is the highest your name, is the greatest. Each and every day, not just now as individuals, but as a married couple, we are called to reflect the love of God to others. I believe the two greatest gifts that God has given us are his love and grace. And if you hop over to the book of John, chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, it says, From the fullness of Jesus' grace, we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth come through Jesus Christ. So here we are, the two greatest gifts that God has given us. He gave us through his son, Jesus Christ. That's why Paul says, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Sidney, Abram, Jesus never fails. That's why God's love and your marriage centered on who God is and what he's given through his son, Jesus. Your marriage will never fail. Love wins every time because love is Jesus and Jesus never fails. This is God's love for us and therefore this is the challenge you two have to live it out through your marriage. Your marriage is a reflection of who God is. And now at this time, Abram and Sidney, you guys have chosen to write your own personal vows and do that exchange. So best man, Abram is first. Sydney. I'm making these promises to you, not just as the perfect and gorgeous person standing in front of me, to our family and friends, but also to the Sydney when she's mad, upset, sad, and when we're all alone. You're the most beautiful, smart, and hardworking woman in my life, which is a lot because that spot was previously held by my mom. I will always try to remember who you really belong to. You're not mine. I just get the highest privilege of taking care of you for a bit. Thank the Lord God every day for the time I get, and hope that when I see him, he'll tell me that I did well with his most precious daughter, Sydney. Always remember, I love you more. Today we honor our marriage and celebration in front of all of our friends and family, but it's not the outward appearance of our relationship that matters at all. Every day with you is a blessing from God, and I promise to cherish that for my entire life. But most importantly, I promise to pursue Jesus every day with you. Our Lord Jesus is our foundation and our rock. Without Jesus, we are nothing and we can't last. So I promise to always put Jesus first. For you for many reasons, such as your work ethic, your passion, your humor, 
but above all, I choose to marry you because of your passion and zeal for Jesus. So I promise that this marriage isn't settling down, but rather striving up together towards God. I can't wait to love you today and every day after, as long as I live. And I love you more. Well then, friends and family, it is with honor that I say, by the power vested in me by the state of Missouri and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, our King, Lord, and Savior, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Abram, let me step out of the way. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I now introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Abram Alanis. Heels are off, dogs are out, and they're out here taking pics as a couple, a married couple for the first time. So now we're just waiting to party.
and that is my wedding vlog. This was seriously the best day of my entire life. Everything went according to plan, everything was perfect, and I got to marry the love of my life. I'm sorry that this video took so long to get out, but I really wanted to take my time with it. And now we've been married for a couple months and it has just been the best time ever. I'm so glad we got to kick it off with such a great celebration in front of all of our friends and family, and that we got to share this special moment with you guys now in this video. Our ceremony and our vows were actually pretty long, about 30, 45 minutes, but we decided to keep a lot of that private and cut it out. So what you saw is just a few snippets of the ceremony and just a lot of the getting ready and reception. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go watch all of the wedding series videos that I made leading up to this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!